Good morning. Well, you know, winter gardening is a lot of labor and not so much fun. <laughs> Let me show you what I have in the works and some fun planting that I am gonna do. Here's the big mess that I made today. I'm trying to clean the beds. As you can see, I trimmed down the lavender. Um, I think I'm going to actually take some of this out, but I didn't want to have a bare garden for the holidays. So I'm probably just going to leave it in, just trimmed it down a little bit. And then after the holidays, I'll decide what else to do. <laughs> Be cleaning out the beds, cutting down the butterfly bush and the roses and can you see my limes? I have some limes, that's nice. Let's take a look at the other side. More mess here, because I cleaned out this part of the bed. Now these lavender I have not cut down yet. I'm thinking of actually taking them out right now and maybe replanting with some box hedges. We'll see. But anyways, over here, if I haven't showed you, cleaned out my entire veg bed and I'm gonna put something in. I'll show you what. All right, so here's my winter garden. We'll start with the joy choy. This is a little bit like bok choy. Never, never grown it before. Don't know what it is, but I do like bok choy, so we'll see, see how that goes. Mm -hmm. Yes, come on now. <laughs> then here we have, um, oh yeah, collard greens. I bought two, two plants for collard greens because I love collard greens and it feels like a great winter crop that should be okay. This is just the curly leaf parsley, which I use a lot and would use more if I had it available all the time. So hopefully that'll take off. This is a green uh, bunching onion. So just, you know, um, those little green onions that you get in the market, hopefully those will do well. These are shallots here. Um, this is what they're supposed to look like. Let's see, they're called shallots ambition. Let's hope they're very ambitious. And lastly here, we have the daikon radishes. I love radishes, and the daikon radish is unusual. It, you can see it grows a little bit like a carrot. So let's see how that turns out. So I've got some unusual things in my garden. I think I might just also plant a little row of red radishes. You can see back there, I've got a couple cyclamen I'm gonna put in the backyard. And of course, we've got potting soil. Plus, look at these gorgeous Thanksgiving poinsettias. I'm gonna put them in the front yard. I ran out of steam for today, though. I'm not gonna be able to plant these today, but tomorrow morning, I'll be recharged and ready to go.